Our purpose is to care for patients, their families, and one another. This can only happen with purpose and clear direction. We can change lives for the better, each person and every experience. Welcome to the Ardent Service Excellence Podcast. I'm Paul Kappelman, Ardent's Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer. This podcast was created to keep you and your teams informed, inspired, and invigorated. Thank you for taking the time to spend with us as we dive in deeper to what this program means for you, sharing inspiring stories from our markets, and keeping you informed of important updates. First, let's begin with our Connect to Purpose story. Hi, this is Jesse Stidham with your Connect to Purpose story. Six of my eight family members got cancer when I was in my early 20s, critical care nurse Stephanie Reitzman wrote, as her answer to a question posed to new employees at Hillcrest South, what is your why? Three lived, three died. The nurses that cared for my loved ones had a huge impact on my bereavement and the well-being of my family. I wanted to give back and return the good they did for us, so I went back to school in my 30s and got a second degree in nursing. Stephanie was in her early 20s when her mother died in her arms after suffering a cardiac complication following her first chemotherapy treatment to treat breast cancer that had returned. One year later, I went back to the hospital on a Friday night to see if I could find the nurse that cared for my mother, Stephanie recalls. I thanked her and told her, one of these days, I'm going to do what you do. Over the next decade, Stephanie lost her father and her oldest brother to cancer. She witnessed her other brother take on stage 3 renal cell carcinoma in his early 30s and win. He remains in remission today, as does her sister, who has been cancer-free for 13 years since being diagnosed with breast cancer in her 30s. On April 9, 2004, Stephanie's commitment to pursue nursing intensified in a single unearthing event. A mother of two, Stephanie kept her sons home from school on Good Friday. Thursday night, they stayed up watching a movie and fell asleep in her room at the opposite end of the house from their bedroom above the garage. That night, Stephanie's car, parked in the garage, ignited unexpectedly. A fire engulfed the boys' bedroom and spread throughout the house. We lost everything, Stephanie shares, but my boys were safe. That is when I knew that I needed to make a difference in someone's life. Stephanie enrolled in nursing school to pursue her purpose and passion. It is such a gift to be a nurse, she proudly states. It is a ministry. I share my story with many of my patients and other nurses. My story is a story of hope. There is always hope. Today, Arden's president and CEO, David Vandewater, shares his own personal experience with Senior Leader Rounding and advice to other leaders on adopting this new structure. How is Senior Leader Rounding different than what we've been doing in the past? Senior Leader Rounding is our opportunity to reconnect with leaders and staff and demonstrate our devotion to service excellence. Trust and relationships are at the core of our culture and Senior Leader Rounding is our chance not just to share information, but to hear directly from the leaders, staff, and physicians. We really want to learn what is working well with service excellence. What barriers are our employees encountering? How can we support our employees to achieve service excellence? A senior leader rounding with purpose accomplishes just that. What are your top tips for conducting an effective senior leader round? The scouting reports are extraordinarily important. As senior leaders, we truly want to connect with each department in a meaningful way. Taking time to prepare this briefing is invaluable to demonstrate our alignment and personalize our time with your department. Next is focus on the positive and manage up. It is important to recognize the employees identified in the pre-huddle and focus on those wins. And finally, follow up. Make sure you have a process in place to keep track of follow-up items that come up during the round. The rounding log comes in particularly handy here as well. Update your director on the progress of these follow-up items so they can be shared with their team. Tell me about your recent senior leader rounding experience. What has it taught you? I've rounded all my life, all my professional life in regards to the number of hospitals that I've had the opportunity to be involved with. Uh, I have never uh, had rounding so specific as we are doing it today and as we're describing today for our service excellence program. The detail that you go into, the preparation that you go into, all those things really are important ingredients 
for you to have a successful round on one of the units. These are just things I didn't do before. The scouting report and the preparation of the pre-huddle are so important that I think makes our round very purposeful and quite frankly, very successful. For senior leaders who have their own method for rounding on employees, what would you like them to know about this approach and how would you like them to be open-minded to change? That's a great question. And, you know, for a lot of people, the, the success that they've had, why would you want to do anything else? And just like, uh, you know, a, a star golfer or star baseball player, you know, sometimes they see an, an additional opportunity to improve their swing or do something that gives them just a little bit more of an edge. I think this gives us a heck of a, mo a better edge in regards to what we're doing every day anyway. So why not put a little bit more preparation? It does take practice. You know, the good news is I've had the opportunity to do it several times. And quite frankly, you know, I've had people uh, be critical of, of the way that I was doing it and give me some instructive understanding on what I needed to change and how I could be better at it. So I think all of us can uh, improve our game a little bit. Uh, by looking at some of the things that we know are successful. It'd be hard to believe that more preparation uh, would cause a problem in regards to doing this job better. Hello, Service Excellence Champions. This is your humble supporter, Smar Uthman Craig. Here is your one minute update. If you haven't seen it yet, go check out the Purpose Curriculum on the website. It was created as an off-the-shelf option that you can use as is or customize. The next curriculum that's up is standard greeting. Don't forget the resources on the website. Recent updates include stoplight report examples and tracking log examples for senior leader rounding, examples of blank and completed whiteboards for purposeful hourly rounding, and a bedside shift report video. T-shirts for the Ardent Service Excellence team members have been delivered or are on their way to you. So what's coming next? Our corporate office will have their kickoff. Some of the things we're working on are a SimLab resource packet, as well as an idea board so we can share all the wonderful ideas of things that are being implemented regarding service excellence at our facilities. You are the eyes and ears of the exciting things that are happening in your facilities regarding service excellence. Share these stories with us by going to www dot surveymonkey.com forward slash r forward slash a s e success story that's it for me you know where to find me if you have any questions relating to ardent service excellence as always i appreciate all of you for the work you are doing towards making our entire organization a better place for patients their families and one another Thank you to our guests who joined us today and shared their stories and insights. And thank you for listening. Ardent Service Excellence was designed for each and every one of us. We all have the power to make a difference and impact lives. Let's stay connected to our purpose of caring for others, our patients, their families, and one another. <laughs>